Hi guys, this is Lost Yo Moon, and today I'm doing a video on Orange is the New Black, season 5. Oh my god, if you're like me, you're fucking addicted to the show. Like, I am so hooked, it's ridiculous. Like, honestly, if I had the opportunity to be a little small little co-star in it, that would be freaking awesome. But, since I'm not like many of you viewers who wish that you were, I have to live vicariously when a new season comes out. So... Spoiler alert ahead. Now, I'm not going to tell you everything that happens because I'm not that big of an asshole. But I am going to go over some keynotes. Or hints, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alright. So, last season, where did we end off of? The guard, the gun, and everyone's freaking out. So that's where we start back at in season five. <laughs> which turns kind of nuts because it ends up starting a fucking riot and a lockdown. So there's spoiler number one. Okay, now spoiler number two. They're doing demands, which you expect, you know. Um, if you're hoping at some point, you know, the riot stops during midway through the season, sorry. It's not till the last episode that the riot actually ends, which, like, when I was watching, I was thinking, hmm, is it going to stop, like, midway, and then you're going to get to learn, but no, Orange is the New Black is a mind fuck, so, you know, we're going to take it all the way up, and then we're going to be like, nope, and then you're left there. Okay, second thing, you're going to end up bawling your eyes out, because I certainly fucking did, like, that's why I have no makeup on, like, my reaction to it is so fucking pure, then I'm like, fuck this. I gotta, like, get a video out and give my opinion on this because it was so awesome. And you guys did so great this season. Like, I mean, I'm not saying every season was bad, but this season, oh my god. Like, it was awesome. Um, another thing that I'll tell you is they do a lot more, they do flashbacks of people that they've already done flashbacks on. Um, you go a little bit younger than they were. Um, some of the characters, you go back to their childhood. Some of them, you go back to uh, their 20s. Um, oh my god, it's so good. Um, I will say this, though. Red gets um, a haircut. Is um, an easy way to put it. But it's not really. Like, once you get to that point, you're going to be like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, oh my god. Um, yeah. Like, I don't want to ruin it all for you. Even though I said, hey, there's going to be some spoilers. Because the adventure of watching a new series is not spoiling, spoiling all of it. Um, I do kind of wonder, though. And you'll notice this, and, and you'll figure out why I'm bringing this out once you start watching it. If they actually got paid for a promotion, um, as far as promoting Flaming Hot Cheetos. Like, I wonder that. Um, once you get to that point, you're going to understand why, because that was a lot of, like a shit ton of Cheetos for, like, the series. Um, another thing that I like about the series all in general, um, especially in this season, is that it goes on to tell you about how these people were treated. I mean, I know this is, like, fictional. I, I, I assume it was based on something that real happened. I know it was based off a book. Um, there's some places that are like this. Um, if you guys remember the video a while back, a lady was in jail for two days without no pants and was denied access to feminine care. You know, a basic fucking human right. So yeah, you know, some of this shit does happen out there. It's just not always publicized. So that's one thing that I love about this show is that, you know, they're talking about the underbelly of the system. Like, granted, a lot of people go away for murder or darker issues such as that. 
and I'm not saying by any way that I condone that type of behavior, but there's some instances where people are defending themselves and they end up getting burned on circumstances. Um, that, that's what I'm going to say about that. But besides that, oh my god, the show is so awesome. Like, that's all I can say. And I feel like I should say more. But it was such a good show. Go out. Go watch season five. Literally, if you don't have Netflix right now, go get Netflix. I think it's like, what, $8 a month? And they have all these different original series that you guys can watch. Um, I know they brought back Fuller House. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's called Fuller House when it was originally called Full House. So there's that. I don't know when that season's coming out. I think if they do, there's more towards the December area. I'm not really for sure on that. I, I think I watched one season of it. I'm like, it's good, but it's kind of corny. Um, so yeah, just definitely go out there. Watch the show. I mean, these guys have done such a great job on it. They deserve recognition. Um, this is my thoughts on it. So I guess I will see you guys later. And it was fun chit-chatting with you guys. Have a great day.